Hello, everybody. Okay, so I have been patiently so, so, well, patiently, let's just put it that way, waiting for my Australian edition of the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. This is the U.S. edition, the one that the book was kind of rewritten um, for a younger audience than the Australian edition. And finally, today, it came. But this box does not look like the original Australian edition. So I'm, I know, I'm very sure this is the Australian edition, but I am concerned that it is a newer edition and I'm not really sure how this is gonna look. So um, we're, we're gonna unbox it. And I'm half disappointed about the box, but I'm praying that the cards inside will wow me because <laughs> I was really hoping I bought this off eBay and the box that they showed on eBay was the um, darker one with uh, kind of that edging that the Australian version is supposed to have it's the original cover and this is not that one so I don't know I don't know so we're gonna open this if you don't have this deck yet, um, again, I have the, um, I've been totally in love with the, well, not totally, but very much in love with the Oracle of Shapeshifters. I really love reading with it. It appeals to a lot of different people, young and old, and those who really like animals a lot. Now, this version, I just don't know. It's the usual Blue Angel box. And, okay, I can see one improvement. Um, oh, well, the back of the book gives me hope. It shows the kind of design that I know is on the um, Australian version. Hopefully this is just an updated version of the Australian. Well, you know what? This is not the one I thought I was going to get. But so far, I'm not feeling too bad. This, this is a good improvement. I mean, I told you before in my other videos, I'm going to pull out the other deck, the U.S. version. The U.S. version has these butterfly frogs. Very, They're cute, but you don't really see the same kind of butterfly frogs on the other side and on any of the other pages. I think there is some kind of frogs and some butterfly things, but not butterfly frogs. Now this moon... It looks very similar to the moon on the wolf card. Alright. And if you know this deck, it in the US version it has that side borders on the reading side of the page, and then you have the frogs on this side. So on this Australian version, a newer version, um this is not the one I was hoping I was getting, but I am not totally disappointed. I do like the look of this new back. Um, it's like the moon, and I kind of like that. And I actually really do like the look of No Borders. Uh, this really is cool. I like that. So here is the wolf moon, and I'm just going to flip through it. Let's just take a peek through. Maybe if you guys really want, I'll do a side-by-side, -side, but this is technically not the one I was hoping I was going to get, but I do feel that this is an Australian version. I, that will be confirmed for me when I go through the uh, book, but I kind of want to just hold off because I want to admire. I really do like the look of some of my favorite pictures without that side border. It's very gorgeous. I like it. The cardstock is not the same though. This is much, yeah, this is a totally different cardstock. It's stiffer. And that was one of the few, one of the things I really liked about the American version was the cardstock. It was very bendy, easy to shuffle. Ooh, this is a different picture for the fairy bee. Oh, that's cool. I may end up doing a separate side by side just to show the difference of the two decks. But so far I am liking this other version, um, aside from the cardstock. There's Beauty and the Beast, that's one of my favorite cards in the deck. This one's not bad either. Again, it's a high gloss one, the other one was high gloss as well. 
Oh, that is very different. Raised by wolves. Okay. I like that. That's pretty. I like that um, she has a slightly different shape on her face. Cast away, out of your depth, feeling abandoned. That's the one that was in the la the, my American version. You belong. Okay, I just wanted to see what was raised by wolves hat on it. Oh, this phoenix is gorgeous. Yeah, this is really pretty. Thing you thought finish burst back into life. Number 12, Golden Phoenix. Ooh, Phoenix of the Waning Moon. Really pretty. I do like it. Okay. Ooh, Miss Spiderwebs. Very different. Again, I like that this is a borderless deck now with this version. Oh, yeah, I like the dinosaur friends. That is very different. Oh, the mermaids are... I really love her mermaids because they're not overly... I mean, yes, they're beautiful, and but they're not overly sexual. And I like that she always has the bust covered. Oh, a beautiful rat. I actually really like rats. I'm not as um, anti-rodent as some people are. I have, I have gerbils. I have ferrets. I have cats. Um, the little wolf girl. All right, let's just flash through here. I'm, oh, that's one of my favorite. I'm glad that one's still in here. I don't know. Oh. Elizabeth and the lion looks really good without the border. I mean, I don't mind my other one at all. Um, some of this is the same artwork. Some of these are changed artwork. So I do feel that this is probably the um, Australian version, like an updated print. This is not the original dark print I was hoping for, but oh, that's so cute. The delicate fairy, fairy and her ferret. That is adorable. Oh, and we have ferrets and actually we have a pale one like that. Mermaid and the turtle woman, so cool an elder will teach you I like that so adorable okay well so far oh Poe this is I really love the steampunk cards she makes they're so cool you will not let fear stop you this time yeah that's really cool the two kittens still in there I must choose oh Wolves of Venice, how far, far away from home. All right. Fiona and the Unicorn, adorable. Oh, good, I love the black cat card too. It's still in this one. Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. Again, I kind of like the US cardstock a little better. It's more bendy and this is a bit stiff. I think that might improve over time, but Artemis in the forest. Oh, so this has the albino alligator instead of the uh, little glowworm one, I believe. Magical protection is necessary. So cute. Yeah, I think this replaces the little glowworm, but it is adorable. Twist in the tail. Yeah, I really. This is really cool. Oh, Poseidon's daughter. I like that. Very, very adorable. I really like. Ugh, it's so cool. I like the details. The ending Santa so looking back. Oh, endless regret, obvious grief, playing the past, negative nostalgia. Yeah, I'm liking this. Okay. Just get through the last cards and then we'll switch over to Sacred Beetle Armor. Yeah, that's the same. The Little Owlin, another favorite in this deck. Wisdom, as light as a feather. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, Alf the Am Amphorite. I'm probably saying it wrong. The Queen's Blessing, that's kind of cool. Definitely gonna read up on that card. I'm trying to figure out which one that might be. 
Um, mermaid in the Koi Pond. That definitely is a different mermaid, but it looks like they kept the same kind of definition. Oh, this is the same. The Snake Princess. Really do like her deep colors. Orca Magic. That's why I feel like her cards, no matter which deck you pick, are really good, except for maybe, I don't know. Yeah, mo no matter which deck you pick, I feel are really good for Shadow Time, Dark Time of the Year. The Ashka Orca Magic. Yeah, she's pretty. Mermaid of Immersion. Yeah, this is another different card. And this is Complete Commitment. Forty-four, definitely different look. And Dragonling Garden, New World is born. Very cute. Okay, so I do like the backs. The cardstock is really feeling a little stiff to me. I'm so used to the bendy cardstock of my U.S. version. I mean, it's even just here. I can I can bend it just holding it, and this one I can't. This is very stiff. Okay, but you know it's. The US version car stock versus the Australian. Uh, but you know, it it's not bad card stock. It's just a bit, it's not bendy like the other one. I do like the look of this. I think this will appeal to more people on the back. Although I don't mind the fairy frogs, I think they're adorable. Um, I do like that that actually is in uh, some of the things. So now I'm gonna uh, just see what's inside. Yeah, this printing is 2015. I believe my mine being the US version was printed in yes, 2013. So this is two years after. And this is the Australian printing. And it is a this other one was Beyond the Worlds printing for the US print, and this is the Blue Angel printing, the second edition of their Oracle of the Shapeshifter. And I just want to see if Walt Whitman. Okay, you've got quotes from Walt Whitman. The Cure. Okay, yes. This book has the more balanced, um, mature all in a more inclusive um f meanings and references to the cards and all that stuff the quotes from the cure which is a band that my one of my good friends heron loves and a few other friends i know it has quotes from dh lawrence so there's there's a bit more of a more mature aspect um and inclusive stuff in here and I'm really looking forward to reading the book. It was part of the reason why I wanted to get the Australian version is that it has that um, it's supposed to have meanings that are more um, from music and books and stuff that are more relatable to my older age group as well as younger age group. I mean even C.S. Lewis has a quote here from the Tales of Narnia Jack, Jack London um Albert Einstein, Walt Whitman again, Song of Myself. Yeah, I I think this will work a, a bit better in some ways. Not that I still won't love my original, but when I got the original, I was kind of disappointed that it was written towards um, a younger audience. And But I still found I used it just fine. It worked for a lot of different people. Um, but I really had been hoping to get the Australian version original but you know what I'm not completely disappointed with this one because I do really like decks that are borderless and they I got that here um, I even like that the back is borderless although I was really kind of looking and hoping forward to get the uh, older look um, I'm just wishing that they had actually shown this picture uh, and the, the box of this one, instead of showing me the first edition Australian version, I think this is the second edition of the Australian version. Um, and that's just a little bit disappointing, but you know what? I, it was worth it paying a bit more to get the more uh, evenly balanced book from the Australian 
publisher. So I'm really looking forward to reading through it and getting to know, relearn this deck with a uh, slightly different artwork. And I think if I remember correctly, some of the words or phrases on this deck have been worded a bit differently as well on just certain cards that the art is different. I have to check. There are some other really good comparison videos and blogs out there on this, but I just just really excited to get my own copy of this one because I had been wanting it for like, oh, um, at, at least five years, I think I've been wanting the Australian version. And um, I had even contemplated buying two of these so I could give a copy to my friend Heron because of the quotes from the cure and some other more, uh, like I said, more balanced meanings in this in this book so okay I'm gonna end it there um, like I said even though I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the first edition Australian I'm really happy to have the Australian version with its more even-handed um, uh, book okay so I hope you found this interesting is it there if you'd like me to to do a flip through comparison with both the decks in the film I could do that I'd be happy to but I really just wanted to do a little first impressions unboxing and show my reaction to you know getting the Australian version and like I said I'm not completely un dissatisfied but I am probably not going to make another attempt to try to get the original um, with the other back and and such this will have to be good enough all right see y'all hope you've had a great week bye bye oh and if you like you know please give me some thumbs up thumbs down whatever let me know if you're liking these videos okay thanks bye